Now that we know a little bit about polygons, we're going to use this information. Let's do a quick review. The interior angles of a polygon are all of the angles inside the polygon, like the ones that I've highlighted in yellow here. The exterior angles of a polygon are formed by extending the sides, and it creates one exterior angle at each vertex. I've highlighted those in blue. Now, I would like you to notice that for each interior and corresponding exterior angle, it forms a linear pair, so therefore they're supplementary. We have a theorem called the Polygon Exterior Angles Theorem that says the sum of the measures of all exterior angles, so if I add up all the exterior angles, one at each vertex of a convex polygon, that has to equal 360 degrees, no matter how big or how small my polygon is. Here's how we might use this. I've given you a quadrilateral here, a four-sided figure, and notice that I've extended the sides at each vertex to create exterior angles, and I want you to find the value of x. Well, I know if I add up all of those sides, it has to equal 360 degrees because of the exterior angles of a polygon theorem. So, now I'm going to combine like terms and solve this equation, and I get that x equals 68. Um, I'm going to lead you through a little thing here. I'd like you to fill this table out in your uh, note sheet as we go, and I want you to see if you can see a pattern as we go. If I take um, a shape, let's take a triangle first, and I take one vertex, and I say, hey, I want to draw a diagonal from that vertex to any non-consecutive side. Well, I, I, there are no diagonals to draw because all my three sides are connected. So if I have a three-sided shape, there's only one triangle within there, and we know that triangles have degrees of 180. Okay, if I take one vertex of a quadrilateral and I draw a diagonal to a non-consecutive side, I can draw exactly one diagonal, and it cuts a shape into two triangles. So if I have two triangles inside that quadrilateral, if I add up 180 and 180, I'm going to get that the degrees inside a quadrilateral are 360. If I do the same thing for a pentagon, I just take one vertex, draw some diagonals. I can only draw two diagonals, and if I have a five-sided figure, I can draw. It gives me three triangles. It cuts my uh, pentagon into three triangles, which would add up to 540 degrees. I'm going to do the same thing with that hexagon. I was able to draw three diagonals from one vertex, which cut the shape into four triangles, and that gives me 720 degrees. A heptagon, I can draw four diagonals, which gives me five triangles. So there should be 900 degrees inside a heptagon. And an octagon, I can draw five triangle or five diagonals, which cuts the shape into six triangles, which would give me 1,080 degrees inside an octagon. Now, hopefully, you can see a pattern here. Uh, from the number of sides to the number of triangles is minus 2. So 3 minus 2 gives me 1. 4 minus 2 gives me 2. So I can do a generic formula here. And I can say for any n-gon, any number-sided polygon, if I subtract 2 from the number of sides, I would get the number of triangles within that shape. And I know that a triangle is 180, so if I take that number times 180, I should have the degrees inside that polygon. And this leads us to our polygon interior angles theorem, which says the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a convex polygon is always equal to 180 times n minus 2, where n is the number of sides of the polygon. Let's use this. Find the sum of the measures of the interior angle of this figure. 
Well, the first thing I'm going to do is count how many sides this figure has, and I see that it has eight sides, and I'm going to write down my nifty formula for finding the degrees inside any polygon, which is 180 times n minus 2. Now I'm going to replace the n, which is number of sides, with 8, and I'm going to solve this using my calculator, and I'm going to get that this octagon has 1,080 degrees as the sum of the measures of the interior angles. The sum of the measures of the interior angles of a convex polygon is 900. Classify the polygon by the number of sides. So here, I want to find the number of sides, and I've been given the interior degrees. But I'm still going to use my nifty formula, because I'm going to say the sum of the measures is 900. Well, I also know it's 180 times n minus 2. So I'm kind of working backwards here, and I'm going to solve this by distributing and solving this equation, and I can find the number of sides of this polygon is 7. So this is a, is, huh, sorry, a heptagon. This is one um, sum of interior angles that I need you to memorize. Just like you've memorized a triangle has 180 degrees, I need you to memorize that a rectangle has 360 degrees in the inside angles, the interior angles. Now, what I would like you to do is find the measure of each interior and exterior angle of a regular hexagon. This is an independent practice, so I would like you to pause your video, go back, use the things that we have learned, and when you are finished, come back and compare your answers to mine. So pause your video now. Okay, well the first thing that you're going to do is say how many sides do we have. A hexagon is a six-sided figure, so for each interior angle, I'm going to start off by saying how many how many degrees inside the whole figure? Well, that's going to be 180 times 6 minus 2. Since this is a regular hexagon, all of the sides and all of the angles are congruent. So if I take the total degrees inside a hexagon and divide by the number of angles, which is 6, I can find the degrees in one interior angle, and that is 120. To find the exterior angles, or the exterior angle, I should say, um, I'm going to just take 360, and since it again, it is a regular polygon, I can divide by the number of sides. So 360 divided by 6 is going to give me 60 degrees. And I want you to remember that each interior angle and its corresponding exterior angle are supplementary because they form a linear pair. So to check my work, I can say 120 plus 60 should equal 180, and indeed it does. Okay, you should be ready for your homework and or teacher talk.